Jung began to assemble um, these uh, alchemy books and slowly read through them. And his approach was to create an index um, so that, uh, as you can see in this picture, on the right hand side, uh, the right hand side of the page uh, of the volume, you can see a number of terms, uh, anima, arbor, and so on, some in uh, Latin, some in Greek, uh, with references following. So as he was reading, <clears throat> he kind of made a dictionary for himself or a, an index, um, uh, noting how those terms were used in various different contexts. And at, at this time, um, when he was doing this work, of course, uh, not a great deal of work had been done on, on the history of alchemy. It had been more or less pushed aside as an early uh, failed version of chemistry. And once science really took hold in the 17th century and got going, alchemy was pushed to the side and scientific method was introduced, laboratory work and so on. And so uh, chemistry replaced alchemy, and nobody paid too much attention to alchemy after the 17th century. There you see Jung's index a little closer. Uh, again, number one is Treasure Hunting, 1935. Number two, Excerpta with uh, Mary Louise von Franz, and then another Excerpta, another Excerpta, and then Extracta, another Excerpta, Extracta, and Excerpta. Oops. And the first volume he calls Treasure Hunting, 1935. So um, kind of a whimsical title for this volume, where he went uh, in search of um, the significant terms and how they were used. Uh, that's volume one of the index. And then here it's up close. You can see uh, the references that he's listing, the authors, uh, the texts, and this volume of treasure hunting. The second part of this um, section uh, of the text is called the mental attitude towards the opus. The mental attitude towards the opus. And here Jung is going to talk about the, the uh, conditions that are necessary for the alchemical opus to take place. <clears throat> And he starts this with a very interesting paragraph. He says, a somewhat different aspect of the psyche's relation to the chemical work is apparent in the following quotation from the text of an anonymous author. Quote, I pray you, look with the eyes of the mind at this little tree of the grain of wheat, regarding all its circumstances, that you may be able to plant the tree of the philosophers, unquote. This seems to point to active imagination as the thing that sets the process really going. So when the alchemists spoke about the opus, here you see the, a picture of them working away in their uh, very cluttered laboratory. The opus means the work. And the essence of the work, uh, as Jung said in the previous section, is projection through uh, the use of imagination, projecting into the uh, um, chemical processes that are set uh, um, afoot by mixing various metals and chemicals together, which they actually did. There was something going on in the laboratories, no question about it. 